Okay, guys, so here we are. We are now going to be building out this single product page template, and it is actually quite easy to do with Audi Commerce. There's a lot you can do. As you know, we're going to be approaching this from a structural aspect and not so much from a design aspect. So you're going to have to do that part yourself. Now, we already established that, you know, the Apple single product page is very complex with like a lot of flashy animations and stuff. That's not really going to help us here. We are going to go and strive for something a little bit more Amazon-y if you will, because we've got these elements, we've got the title, you've got, you know, different attributes here. You can get the information on the actual product. Got this nice vertical, I don't know what you call it, gallery. And then down here, you've got recommendations, recommend related products. Now, those are pretty simple things you can do with just stock Divi, right? So we're going to focus on these other items Kind of like you can add these accordions with all these questions but you know at the end we would have added a compare table like this one which is gonna be awesome and we'll have the reviews in there and then we'll even add some tabs in there we can you know keep you know keep other bits of information on the product and that's what we're gonna do so why don't we get back so why don't we go ahead and jump in all right so now we are back here on my main product template and my divi library so as you remember at the end of the previous lesson we know that there's two ways that we can assign a product template and we can either do that in the divi theme builder or you can just go build everything out and you select all that fun stuff to apply to either category or specific product or whatever the case might be or you can build it out in the divi library and assign that layout in the body commerce settings so this is what i did in the last video and here we are i have a main product template layout that is in my divi library and that my friends is of the layout type you know you can do module section row whatever this is a layout so why don't we get kraken and add our first section here and we are going to add the breadcrumbs module now if you recall if you type in pp then that brings up all the product page modules or you can also what could be applicable is global if you want to add some global stuff that's up to you you can put your notices where you want them to be all different things but we are going to stick to just the double p and then we're going to go ahead and i want actually a global module to be fair um i want the breadcrumbs so i'm just gonna put the breadcrumbs in there you can you know tweak the design settings and all that fun stuff we're not doing that right now and then also of course in body commerce remember that you can go ahead and select your visual boulder um post type now of course with divi body commerce it is fully visual boulder compatible so if i come to the front end here you'll see it just says home there but if i was to select the post type of products it'll display a little bit more relevant uh, context for this layout because in the Divi library, so how's it gonna know what I'm building this for? And this is what this feature with our products does. Um, you'll see that in Divi machine, body commerce, all that fun stuff. It's not gonna do anything there yet, but you're gonna see as we build it out now, how things change and shape up a bit. Okay, so for the next step, I think what's gonna be best is to go ahead and add uh, two columns now if we go back and we kind of look at what amazon's got going on over here you have your uh image gallery or product image gallery you've got your title you've got your different variations here they've got their add to cart on the side here that's not something i'm going to be messing with today because why make it overcomplicate things so much but then it's got like some basic information it tells you a story about the product and it's got the related stuff here we're going to be doing a lot of the stuff and then in some of the other videos we'll add some additional functionality for you let's jump back over here and let's go and add our first module in the first column so i'm going to go with the double p again and i'm going to say product gallery now you have a lot of options here for the gallery style you can single slider horizontal slider vertical slider expandable stack so many things we are going to go with the vertical slider as that's the one that amazon has employed um but for structural things like this and learning the structural elements, I prefer to be in this module view. Now, when it comes to the elements here, you can disable the light box, disable the zoom. We're going to want the zoom to not be disabled. And you can also disable things like having the featured image be part of the gallery. Um, you can also enable the name field. We don't really want that because then you get those ugly file names. For slider options, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. You can put it on an infinite loop. So when you're sliding, 
keeps going through the actual images. You can go with image sizes. You can do that animation to be automatic, all these fun things. We're not going to worry about that right now. But then also, you know, as with sliders, you can get the arrows or the dots to show you where you are in the cycle of the different items. I am going to show the arrows, but I'm not going to use the dots. And then what's next? Slider thumbnail option. So you can say that, well, do you want the slider thumbnails to be visible on mobile? Because sometimes it's very hard um, depending on the size of the screen. But then also you can just set it different settings, you know, make it a little bit easier. Um, and then there's tons of design settings, of course. Slider, you've got like the arrow sizes and things like that. Um, you can even select the arrow that you have if I get my head straight here. So yeah custom arrows icon. So now you can go ahead and you can select any of these arrow icons or any icon really to be your previous or next icon. I'm going to stick with what it's got in there because I'm boring. Really? That's the answer. Go ahead and save that. Now I'm just going to do one more module here in the second column because you're on Amazon. I think it was, yeah, it was the product title. So let's come back here and then you can go PP. I probably shouldn't say PP. People are going to make fun of me. Then I'm going to go and type that double P. So I'm going to scroll, scroll, scroll. And sometimes it's not that easy to find really what you're looking for. And I am just being lazy. Then what I'll just do is I'll go ahead and type in title. And there we go, PL product title. And now you can say, is it going to be H1? What do you want it to do? Where do you get the title from? You can add the category title, all that fun stuff. We will use this like that. And then we'll just use one more title tag because I just want to show you guys this also. And now we're going to go with paragraph. And now we're going to say link to single page, but now we'll get the title from the category. So let's go ahead, update this, and let's go look at one of our products. Yeah, I'm just going to go to this tab here. I'm going to go to my products. And then let's just take one of these variable products, and I'm just going to go ahead and view it on the front end. And it looks like this is not what we're looking for, is it? Because it's got this ugly sidebar, all this other stuff going on. But did you remember we are not using the theme builder? We need to actually manually go sign this. So let's go to our dashboard. We can go to Divi and then body com oh, Divi engine, then body commerce. Sorry. And now here we go. Here is where you can select the individual templates. We are going to set a main product template and this will be it. Why not? And then what we'll do is we can make the product page full width. Yes, we want that. And then we can also activate different product templates per category. We're not going to mess with that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And then what we'll do is we'll go back to products and we'll open up that product again that we just looked at. And it was this one right here. And now you guys can see that things are a little different, right? It's looking not the same, um, but we've got our titles here. And it looks like there's a little error with this one here, but we'll pick, just take that out. It's not that important, but we've got a zoom going on. We've got everything good to go. So let's hop back over here and continue on. I'm just going to delete this title right here and we'll keep on trucking. So another element that we're going to want on there, of course, is you want your add to cart. So all we're going to do is just type cart and then it's going to bring up all this fun stuff. And then you've got the add to cart right here. Now you've got a ton of options in here. You can enable variation options and archive pages. You can make the buttons full width. We'll do that full width quantity box. Why not? Let's go crazy. And then you can say, well, what's the alignment like? You can change the text on it. So many options, pretty self-explanatory. So I want you guys to just kind of play with that yourselves. And you've got settings for the quantity. So show quantity input if enabled variations. So do you want the label to be on top? What do you want it to do? And then, of course, all the design settings. That's for you to figure out and how you want to do that. Um, but that is going to include that information from the input box for the quantity and the button. That's what that's going to add. And then if there are variations, we'll add the variations also. Next thing we want to do is we want to display those attributes. So if we come back here to Amazon, we've got these attributes here, right? Brand, model name, all that fun stuff. So why don't we just do the same these? So for that one, double P. And this one I know is the additional information um, module. Just because when you just have the stock WooCommerce, you know, you have those tabs on the bottom and they'll list all the attributes for you. This is where that's coming from. And even if I update this, I just want to show you guys again on the front end to make sure you guys don't think I'm lying to you. We'll refresh this. And now you can see that we've got the variations. 
we've got the quantity box right here, and then we've got all the additional information. So you see how it's kind of shaping up bit by bit very easily as we build this out. And of course, this is structure, guys. This is not a design course. This is you guys figuring out how to do it and then using your big brains to make it look pretty. That's not me. Next up, we want a little bit of extra text. You see how it's got this extra stuff, which is the text that you'll see. And this one is probably not going to have anything in there. See, it doesn't. But if I just go and type like yada, 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 and update this product. Oh, but this product's not even going to be the one that I'm looking at. But that's fine. Let's just uh, use our imagination here. I'll make sure to just open this product instead so that we can go take a look at it. Okay, here we are. We want to go ahead and add that extra information. So what is that? That is content, my friends. P and a P product page. So you can show the heading to say that that's going to be there. You can do a custom word count, do all sorts of stuff. We're just going to leave it as is at that. But you can style it, you can change it. You can ask it to be a girlfriend if you want to, whatever. This is how we do this. And now you'll see that extra text showing up at the bottom, which will be the content text. And lastly, a fun little feature in body commerce, of course, is that we have those sharing icons, right? So if I type in sharing, let's add this in here. And now it's got, you know, all the different colors you can set for everything in the world. We're going to update that. And now when we go to the front end and we look at it, it's going to, oh, well, where are they? Well, they're there and just not there. There um, we would need to go to our Divi engine, body commerce settings. And then we have these sharing icon tab here where you can say what style you would like to use. So I like a little bit more compact style here and you can enable and disable various ones here. You can add, change the text. You can really go crazy here. I like the terminology share two more. And if I save this now and then I come back here to my product, you'll see these nifty sharing icons showing up, which is awesome. And we are making progress. Now, don't be too worried about this product. It just has these two images. I'm going to be adding and importing some other products when we get to the compare table section of this course. And then you will be able to have a much more robust display of items here. So let's just keep on trucking here and we're going to put in the tab section now. So we're going to add a section and then I'm just going to type in tabs and then we've got the tabs here. Now you might be wondering what are these tabs that I'm talking about? Let me show you. I'm going to go back to my products again. I'm going to edit this product that we're looking at right now. And body commerce adds these extra settings on each product where you can go ahead and for example, you can say features. And then there can be a bunch of featured text here. You can even go ahead and build a custom layout in um, the Divi Builder in the library. But we're not going to do that right now. But I want you to know that it's there. And I'm also going to add another tab. And then the other one is going to be usage instructions. Because why not? And then you can paste the content there, of course. That we will do at a later stage. Just want to let you know that it's there. And then I'm going to update this product. I will update this layout. And yeah, you can, of course, add and remove things. You can remove the description tab. You can move the reviews tab. We're going to do that because we're going to be, we already displayed the additional information. We already displayed the description. We don't need that stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and update this. And you can add a whole bunch of tabs on your product. So if you have a download that's associated with it or something like that, that'll of course be very nifty to be able to have that on there. And like if you've got digital or like hardware products, you can do firmware files or manuals or whatever. But yeah, you can see we've got our features and usage instructions. And I know this is very ugly. It's for you to make it pretty because we include all the settings you need to make this look however you want in that Divi module that we made for body commerce. So let's go back here and we will want to add our related products. I said that we won't touch on this, but you know, it's so easy to do because it's also kind of a cool feature in body commerce. We've already talked about loop layouts earlier in the course, and you can actually use a custom loop layout. So if you build out a loop layout in the Divi library, you can go ahead and select it here. And you can even have a no related products listed here or layout here for that. And then also you, you want to go and select any of the categories, whatever. And that is going to be helpful for you to upsell, side sell, whatever you want to do. That's just going to help you out a lot with making your other products more accessible. So when we're here, we can find no post. So this is going to do category matching. So it's going to be any of the categories that match. And that's going to be fine. 
So we've got related products. And again, I want to just again reassure you that I'm not swindling you and that we're actually are making progress here. And here we go. Related products from the same category. Now, again, you can build your own custom loop layout for this if you want to. That'll be up to you. Now, the last element that we are going to be adding here is just the reviews. And you guessed it, that's also very easy to do. I'm going to go add that new row. I'm going to type in review. And here we have the reviews. Now, why use this one instead of the default Div1? Just so many more options that you can change. You can switch elements on and off. You can change what the stars look like, what the primary colors are. And then, of course, in the design settings, you've got all these extra things in here. But it's very easy to do, very, very quick. And then we can just go and say update and then let's take a look at what that looks like. But we're pretty good. We've got a basic product page up and running here. See, now we've got our reviews on here. Pretty robust page. It's an ugly page. But guess what? You built this and you know it's it ain't looking that bad. I actually want to do one more thing that I noticed on Amazon. And it's this image kind of sticking to the top. Now, this is not a body commerce feature. This is just a Divi feature. But I'll just go here on my gallery module. I'll go to advanced and then I'll come down here to the scroll effects. These are the stock Divi scroll effects. And I'll just say stick to the top. And then you want to put a bottom sticky limit and you'll just say the bottom of the row. And when I save this and I update this, you'll see the magic happen right now, I think. OK, so now when I scroll, it sticks to the top and then it stops right there. That's a pretty nifty feature. It works well on the product page, so use it. It's awesome. There we go. That is building a basic product page layout with body commerce using body commerce modules. And we are going to enrich this layout more in the next part of the course where we're going to be showing you how to display these variations in a way cooler way with the advanced variation swatches included with body commerce. So hang around for that and I'll catch you guys in that lesson.